Hello everyone, welcome to Cam Tiger MA Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the shell border stitch. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. How is everyone doing on today? Welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you how to make this shell stitch border. So I've already made a row of single crochets going around, so let's begin. I'm going to switch out my color here. I'm right before the beginning of the row. I'm going to switch out my color. I don't know if you've seen this reel before, but I show you how to switch out the color. So you just put your hook in the front in those two front loops. Make sure that your old loop is in the back and that your lead yarn. You're going to grab a piece of yarn, whatever color you're using. Go ahead and place that on top of your hook wrap your own yarn the way you normally do yarn over and pull through those two front loops now this white yarn is now your new loop go ahead and pull out the old yarn and go ahead and begin i'm going to chain one and go into the next stitch with a single crochet make sure when you clip off that you are uh, crocheting in all of those uh, yarn all of that yarn single crochet in the next stitch and that stitch so now i'm going to chain one once i make my single crochet yarn over and go into this next stitch with five double crochets two three this is three and four so now once you've made your fourth double crochet you're going to in the next stitch you're going to slip stitch in the next stitch so yarn over pull up a loop you have two loops and just pull through that loop and chain one now you're going to skip one and go into the next stitch with five well, I'm sorry four double crochets so each shell stitch has four double crochets so this is two you see what I'm doing I'm doing the the, the bobble stitch here <laughs> I don't know where my brain is it's early in the morning so let me do that again and just go ahead and put four double crochets into that stitch there okay so once you've had your major four double crochets slip stitch in the next stitch and chain one so this is what it looks like going all the way across i'm going to meet you at this end here just keep following the pattern i'm going to show you how to come around that corner okay so now i have all of my um shell stitches here my shell um border here i'm going into the next stitch so i've made my slip stitch already and chained one skip one go into the next one with four double crochets that's two three and four now slip stitch into the next stitch chain one skip one and go into the next with five, I mean, sorry, four double crochets. So that's how you make your cell stitch. And that's how you come around this corner. You want to start off with the top row having an even number of stitches because you will be skipping some stitches. And you're skipping just to compensate for the number of double crochets you put in there. So I'm going to keep going around and I'll be back when I get close to the end of the row. Okay, so we're at the end of the row here, right at the beginning when you made your single crochet, you're going to go into that stitch. So we've made our way all the way around. Now we're at the end and right into that single crochet that you first made when you began, you're going to make a single, not a single crochet, you're going to make a slip stitch. So go right into that stitch, that single crochet. Yarn over and make your slip stitch. 
And that's pretty much it. That is how you make your sales stitch going all the way around. I do apologize about my, my weird swatch here, but I hope that you get the picture. So just go back if you need to. It's a pretty easy stitch to work with. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tie Handmade Crochet. Have a great day. Bye-bye.